I had the door closed, but the window's open. And this is kind of neat, even though this door's going away. It just slides up and down to fill that gap, but you can have a window, you can have an open there if you want. I suppose you could put glass in if you absolutely wanted to. But anyway, I drew out the uh, interior the way it's going to be built. And it doesn't matter that I write on here, that doesn't matter. But the bathroom's in the corner, like I said, and there's the angle that I'm going to come up so the pan will go out to the bottom of that angle. And then you'll have extra room up where your arms are, so you got more space in there. Uh, moving this way, be a kitchen counter that'll go all the way over to where the bed is. Sink will be here, cooktop and oven here, microwave will be down below, <coughs> and a big window over here, two foot by three foot. All three windows I'm going to put in, one on each side, except for the truck side, um, will be two foot by three. Pretty close. It's a uh, Everything's in millimeters, but approximately two foot by three foot. And my, uh, the fireplace heater will be next to that. And then somewhere here will be my electrical box with the stereo, the controls for the solar, all the controls for the furnace, all that kind of stuff will be here. Battery monitor, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's with the upper bunk with the mattress drawn in will be there and that's how far it'll come the lower bed will come out to there just past that vent down there and that's with the mattress drawn in and then this corner under the bed will be the Truma combi uh, combination water heater and furnace will be there uh, back in that corner will be water pump and water filters and then over there there's also a drain that was built in stock to the unit and that'll be for a system drain there in this whole center area here will be a 100 gallon water tank, fresh water tank. <coughs> On this side over here will be propane and uh, maybe the batteries, but storage. I might even put more than just two propane bottles, I'm not sure, over there. And then up in front here will be subwoofer box and I was originally going to put the batteries here also. And then somewhere over here will be the uh, the uh, inverter charger will be also in there. So that's what will be under there on this side. You can see the upper bunk will be there, lower bunk will be to there. And then down there will be a, a sit-on bench that will go over to the door. And on this half of the inside this half of the sit-on bench will be the pantry, and I've got some neat ideas for that. How I'm going to use that space efficiently, and then over here will be a, the fridge. That'll be a cooler type fridge this time. I'll be on that side, and then you'll be able to sit on that, and there'll probably be a, a table we can use out here also. Above that is another two by three window, and the door will move. So I'm going to seal off this whole back. The door, which will be a, a more regular RV type door with the window in it, will be right there. Opens out that way. Beginning in this corner, maybe not right up to the door, but pretty close. Uh, over to the bath wall, which will be here. That'll be another counter space. With um, I got something special planned for in that cabinet, for in these cabinets, but I'm gonna save that for later. That's a secret. But uh, there'll be another two by three window above that. Looking out the back side, and. And I got to thank my buddy Fred for this idea. I've been struggling with where to put the TV. I want to put a 32 inch flat screen in here. And I think what I'm going to do is right up here build a box that'll sit flat and put the TV in it. And you'll open it up like this, it'll come down. And then the TV will be inside of there. So it'll hang down flat when you want to use it. And when you're not using it, you put it back up and latch it, and it'll stay up. And you don't have to worry about hitting your head on it too much I don't think because the cat will be over kind of over the counter area there and I'll cheat it as far over as I can but I think that's what I'm gonna try to fit in the only uh, well this door opens out so that's not a big deal but the bathroom I don't know I'm gonna do that door yet so well but anyway that's what I'm thinking about doing so that way we don't need the TV it's up out of way we'll get a real thin the thinnest flat screen you can get mounted in there and uh, that should take care of that so Anyway, that's the layout. I'll go over other fine details as we go. Uh, the other thing is I'm probably going to put a roof hatch 
up above the bed area, kind of above halfway above both beds here. Um, about two foot wide by 18 inches or 16 inches uh, deep, something like that. Big enough to let in good light and also open up to crawl out on the roof if we needed to get out in a hurry or if uh, just get up there for maintenance or whatever. And that a lot let in a lot of extra light on the bed area since there's that's the only place there isn't a window is over here. All three other sides will have a big, nice big window. So there'll be plenty of light plus the door window. So there'll be plenty of light on this whole half back here. Anyway, that's the update of another video when we have more to report. Until next time.